Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a checkbox to your Expo React Native app. So first up you're going to want to install the Expo checkbox package. I'm going to be using that today to add a checkbox. Then inside your component you're going to want to add a checkbox component. So I've just replaced the text from the default application with a checkbox. The value is whether the checkbox is checked or not, so true or false. And you can specify a colour if you want it to have a specific colour. Now because I've hard coded that um, value, it's not going to be able to update if I to, were to check and uncheck that checkbox, but I can change it just by setting that value there. If you want it to be able to update, you're going to want to use a state variable and you're also going to want to um, you're also going to want to add an on value change uh, function. So here I am, I'm just going to go ahead and import use state from React and that's going to allow me to have a state variable and that value can be passed to the checkbox and then the value of the state variable will be will be reflected by the checkbox and any changes to the state variable will then be reflected on the checkbox so it won't be just a static checkbox with a static value. I'm going to start off with false for my checkbox value. You can see that if I replace that with that is checked state variable you can see that it's using that value because it's not checked but you can see it doesn't update when i click and to handle that i need to implement or add the um add an on value change property and i'm going to pass the function that will be called which is set checked basically that's just going to set that checkbox i can also set it to disabled which would mean that even if I click on it, it's not going to do anything. It'll just hold that value of whatever is in is checked. You may also want to show a label alongside your checkbox. Typically, you're not just going to have a checkbox with nothing next to it. You're going to have some sort of text for some option that you might have. So maybe I want to have like a... Um, a to-do list, then I might have a checkbox next to it to say I've done that to-do item. Um, I'm just going to add some text here. Basically just my option. You can see that's vertical. Um, to fix that, I'd need to add some styling to the view um, to make it lay out in a row rather than in a column. So to do that, just adding that flex direction row. And I'm just centering my items. You can apply that style to the view and then it'll lay out in a row and you'll have the text box with the label next to it. Sorry if you can hear my baby, he's just sort of breathing a bit heavy as he sleeps on me. You can also um, pass in some styling to the checkbox. So I'm just going to add a margin around it so that it, the text isn't so close to it. And you can see that looks pretty good. So another thing you might want to do is you might want to add some color so here I am just adding um, color and I'm just going to check whether it's checked. And if it's checked, I'm going to do one color. And if it's not checked, then I'm just going to leave it as that gray. That's just because otherwise I'll get that like colored border around and I want it to be sort of neutralish when it's not checked. So when I check it, it's green. If I uncheck it, it's gray. If I remove this is checked option and just specified a color, then when I have it unchecked, it's still got that border around it, which looks a little bit um, too bold and obvious. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.